Modern Warfare 3's gunfights can get brutal sometimes, so what should you be running to secure more kills, win more gunfights, and win more matches? Today we're running down my picks for the top weapons and their builds that I'd suggest using in Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below on what you think of any weapons you're enjoying. Got a build you'd like to share? Feel free to drop it down below. But if you enjoy the video, you find it at Insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay today with all things Modern Warfare 3. I'd love to have in the communities we gear up for not only just stuff that is still up on deck, but as we move into Modern Warfare 3 Season 1, and the Warzone launch upcoming. Love to have you in the community. Finally, make sure you check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage and use code ESPRESSO for 35% off your entire order. The best savings of the year so far, but a bit more on that a little later. For now, let's jump into the weapons and the builds you should be using in Modern Warfare 3. So first and foremost, Modern Warfare 3, I think, is a very rifle-heavy game where you can use just about every rifle and do pretty well with it, but there are a few that do stand out above the rest. So I want to start with the rifles here when we talk about these weapon classes. Firstly, the MCW. This is a weapon that is just, it's the pick up and play weapon. It doesn't matter if you're a pro, doesn't matter if you're somebody that this is your first game, but if you pick up the MCW, you'll be able to kit it out and control it with absolute ease. The build we have today is almost like negative recoil. You barely have to touch your right thumbstick to pull down and to have just complete level shots as you burn through that ammo. For this build, I'd recommend the 16.5 inch Cyclone Long Barrel, the T51R Billeted Brake, the RB Claw PSL Grip, the RB Regal Heavy Stock, and personally, I like the Slate Reflector. I'm not a huge fan of the iron sights on a lot of weapons in this game, so the Slate Reflector, to me, is one of those things that, just like that precision. But that barrel gives you bullet velocity, aiming idle sway, and firing aiming stability. The Billeted break ends up giving you a lot of control in that vertical recoil, which is where, honestly, for the MCW, it's the only part that you're really going to have to worry about too much. The claw PSL grip giving you a bit of recoil control and gun kick control, so if you get hit back, you should have good control over your weapon. And the Regal Heavy Stock gives you recoil control and gun kick control again. So you kit it out to mitigate that recoil that, honestly, already isn't too bad to begin with. And the natural ADS and sprint to fire isn't all that bad on the MCW, so it is one that I would highly recommend playing around with this one. Next, I'm going to go with the Holger 556. This, again, being another weapon that is very easy to control, packs a decent amount of punch, and overall is just a weapon that I think is pretty versatile. So, starting us off, the Slate Reflector. Again, not a huge fan of the iron sights on this one. I'd recommend the six match barrel for the bullet velocity and range, recoil control, and gun kick. I personally like the 40 round mag. You can get away with a 30, the standard there, if you don't want to use an attachment on that. For that, I'd recommend putting an under barrel on or a muzzle to control recoil a little further. But beyond that 40 round, I'd recommend the intruder grip for sprint to fire and aim down sight speed, as well as the RB assault stock for recoil control and gun kick control. So giving you a bit more control in most of those attachments, but the rear grip giving you a little bit more of that sprint to fire and ADS speed to make up for anything that you lose in that control factor. Not a bad weapon at all, still would highly recommend that. Then I'd recommend the DG58. This still, even after the update, is incredibly good. And it's one that honestly, even though it did get hit by a nerf, it's not super noticeable. For this, I'd recommend the Slate Reflector. Again, just personal preference. Not a huge fan of the iron sights, but I'd recommend the DG56 LS18 barrel for bullet velocity, aiming idle sway, gun kick control, and recoil control. The skeletal vertical grip for some aim down sight speed and vertical recoil control, plus some sprint to fire speed, which is definitely nice if you want to end up, say, running around and getting your gun up quick into a gunfight if you have to. A 40 round mag, though, you can get away with the 30, and then the Harkin OP grip as well for some extra flinch resistance and aiming idle sway control. Again, another weapon that is very, very easy to use, and even though it was something that requires two shots of a burst to get a one burst, it's still very easy to get a kill. Next up on the list is the Striker, the weapon that ended up actually getting a buff here as the most recent update. For this, I'd recommend the Striker Recon Long Barrel, giving you that bullet velocity and aiming idle sway. I'd recommend the Purifier Muzzle for horizontal recoil and firing aim stability. I'd recommend the Phantom 5 Hand Stop for sprint to fire and aim down sight speed, plus a little bit more vertical recoil control. The high grain rounds will keep you off the radar a little bit by showing no enemy skulls, but also increasing the damage range and bullet velocity. That is a big thing here with this because that damage range extends out quite a bit further with this, bringing your maximum damage outwards of 11, almost 12 meters here at this, which in game, if you can land that, that's crucial, especially mixed in with a singular headshot, it'll do wonders for you. And then finally, to round that off, I run the tactical stock for recoil control and movement speed plus sprint speed. So it helps you not only in controlling your weapon, but also getting around the map a little faster. For this, I'd say it's honestly probably one of the best SMG builds that you can have at the moment. Again, just because of that buff as of recently makes it incredibly powerful, but also a weapon that you can really just be mobile with. Something that gives you a bit more damage, not necessarily at like rifle range, but 
pretty good range for an SMG. So try that one out. Absolutely. Next, I'd recommend the Rival 9 here with this, that being another one of the SMGs that are just incredibly good at the moment. One that I'd absolutely say is in the meta here for this, but on this build, I'd end up running the Sky Fury Compensator, the X10 Phantom 5 Handstop, the 50 round drum mag. You don't have to necessarily run a magazine attachment here with this. I just like to personally be able to have extra shots for SMGs like these that do fire faster than normal and that you'd be burning through ammo. So you can get away with the 40, you can get away with the 50, really doesn't matter but you can also just get away with 30 in the base if you want to use, say, a barrel attachment or a laser. But beyond that, I'd recommend the Vice Assault Grip and the Close Quarters Stock. This combination giving you recoil control, but also sprints of fire and ADS speed improvements where applicable. So it gives you that quick little snappy nature of the build itself, but also still gives you quite a bit of control of the weapon down range if you do end up getting towards the end of that sort of effective SMG range where you gotta control those shots. Definitely recommend trying out the Rival 9 after that, another one going back to medium to long range here is the Bass B. This is one that I do think is going to be a powerhouse within Warzone. At least it was based off of when I played at COD Next and the reveal here for the Warzone integration upcoming. But the Bass B is one that just packs a punch, very easy to control. And again, it's something that you can kit it out. For MP, I wouldn't go above 30 rounds, but you can go to 45 for in Warzone here upcoming. For this, I'd recommend the Slate Reflector, the Bruin Venom Long Barrel to give a bit more bullet velocity and recoil recoil control, the Sky Fury Compensator for extra recoil control, the 30 round magazine, just because 20 is a little bit too low for me, you can get away with it. But if you go 45, you're just going to be stuck in the reload for quite some time. Makes that reload time a little too long. And then the heavy stock is what I run as well. So again, you're kind of kidding this out more so for control and recoil mitigation, which if you guys do go into the firing range, you'll absolutely notice that, yeah, it might be a bit slower, like a hair too slow than you may like for ADS speeds, but I think if you can get over that, you're going to notice that this thing fries. There's one LMG that I do want to talk about here, and that is the Pulling Yacht 762. I do end up running the conversion kit here on this to make it a bullpup, giving it, by definition, more mobility, a better rate of fire, better ADS speed, and other things considered. But when we do that, we also sacrifice recoil control, some bullet velocity, and damage range, so we do want to make sure we make up for that. By doing so, I end up running the Slate Reflector at base, the Sky Fury Compensator to get that recoil control back, the Camaro Vertical Grip for gun kick recoil and vertical recoil control, and the Not Z3 Grip for aim down sight, gun kick control, and recoil control. It's not often we get one of those grips that give us both ADS and control, but when we have it, might as well use it. That's my picks for the top weapons right now after the update here in Modern Warfare 3 that I definitely think you guys should be checking out at the very least. I do think that these can do very well for you in whatever game mode you want to play, however you want to play, so try them out. Again, if there's anything you'd like to add to this list in regards to a build of your own, feel free to. Feel free to drop it down in the comments below. But before we wrap everything up, make sure you check out my friends over at Gamer Advantage because for a short window of time here, they have a site-wide 25% off discount where code ESPRESSO can stack to give you 35% off your entire order. The best discount of the year so far. Higher discounts are coming on Black Friday and a little beyond for, I think, only specific items. But if you guys want to check something out of what I firmly believe are the best blue light glasses on the market, now's as best a time as any. I've worked with these guys for nearly three years now and cannot recommend recommend them enough. They're the most comfortable, lightweight, and durable frames on the market as far as I've used, and definitely think they've helped my daily productivity. Full transparency, they are a bit of an investment, but I think your vision is absolutely worth investing into, especially if you're like me and you look at a monitor, phone, or you're gaming for a good chunk of the day. If you guys would like to learn more, at the very least, I'd recommend checking out their site where they can better break down the science and all specifics way better than I could, but what I can personally say is that I'd highly recommend them. If you guys want to learn more, check the link in the description below, and if you want to pick something up for yourself, use code ESPRESSO to get 35 plus percent off your entire order. But that said, that's where we're gonna wrap it up. Again, let me know your thoughts down below on what you think of these loadouts and these classes. Like them, dislike them, whatever the case, drop your thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, you found it out on insightful, well, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single thing running all things Modern Warfare 3, present and future upcoming with season one and the Warzone integration on the horizon. Love to have you in the community, but for now, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you later. Take care and peace.